So what is cloud computing? So this is our very first session where I'll talk about what is cloud computing and the need for it. So let's step back and understand what problem cloud computing is trying to solve. So in general, evolution of any new technology of business usually comes from solving a problem or addressing a gap in a particular domain. And then look at how it can be addressed and scaled. So imagine you have a laptop of 8 GB and you have been given an assignment which requires 16 GB. And let's assume you end up upgrading your laptop. After three months, you realize you need to upgrade the CPU for speed and performance for other set of assignments. And in summer holidays, you may not even use your laptop or the new assignments don't need that much computing resources. So don't you think it'd be good if you could temporarily buy systems with required configuration and give it back but not required? And if you extrapolate this problem to enterprises which might be running on hundreds of servers and supporting infrastructure like racks, cooling, etc., the cost becomes quite substantial. And there are other challenges around the time required to procure new servers, manage the infrastructure, and ensure the server and compute resources are being utilized to the full extent. And find a way to scale or downgrade resources as and when required, keeping cost under control. And that's where cloud computing comes in. It's all about providing on-demand computing resources for development or production without you managing the physical infrastructure. And it's not just about servers or virtual machines. Cloud computing providers like Google Cloud, Amazon AWS, or Microsoft Azure provides hundreds of services like database, serverless computing, data warehouses, machine learning, analytics, and so on, which makes easier to design and develop applications. And I'll talk about cloud computing platforms and services in one of the later videos.